revelation of the joy of the Lord, joy unspeakable and full of glory. It's a joy unspeakable and full. Sing unto the Lord a new song, for he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm hath gotten him the victory. So what the Lord is just wanting to remind you of is that he has done marvelous things in your life and he will continue to he will continue to do so because he's the same God yesterday, today, and tomorrow. His right hand is upon you. He takes care of you because you are his children. He is a good shepherd. You know, and he has paid for the victory. It's paid for on the cross. So whatever you're hoping for, whatever you're praying for, whatever you're seeking the Lord for, make a joyful noise because it's already done. He's already done the marvelous things in your life. He will continue continue to do so. He's not going to leave you nor forsake you. He gets the victory. So just make a joyful noise unto your king. Sendan bandron dran bander e ramandere ribeshe ara bosse e ramandere ribeshe I sing with my understanding and I sing in the spirit oh a new song to you lord ara mandere ribeshe me gedere de bosse andara dare sera de ara 
nothing worth more That'll ever come close
John 14, Jesus gave the promise of his spirit. It says in verse 15, if you love me, obey my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate who will never leave you. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. The world cannot receive him because it isn't looking for him and doesn't recognize him but you know him because he lives with you now and later will be in you. Now I will not abandon you as orphans. Jesus, thank you. Thank you for the promise of your Holy Spirit. Thank you that you did not leave us as orphans, that you gave us the comforter, that you gave us the teacher, that you gave us our counselor. We honor you. treat you lightly but we honor you thank you for living in us thank you for leading us into all truth and this truth leads us to life thank you jesus Like we 
like wind. He is like rain. He is like fire. He is like oil. He is like wind. He is like rain. He is like fire. He is like oil.
Praise forever to the King. 
just begin to reveal and bring the fear of the Lord into our hearts. That reverence. Holy Spirit, continue to reveal Jesus to us. Oh, we love your moving, Holy Spirit. Give us a reverence. a conviction
This is the book of Romans, chapter 8, verses 12 through 17. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. If ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye, through the Spirit, do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons and daughters of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together, together in, with Christ, we are his children. The Spirit leads us, the Spirit gives us life. We are alive because of Christ. The same Holy Spirit that brought Jesus life, like from the dead, it's the same Holy Spirit that lives inside of ye, uh, inside of you, I'm sorry. The Lord just wants to give you the gift of the Holy Spirit, to be alive in Him, to do life with Him. He wants to be that Father that does everything with you. He wants to include you in everything. So won't you, won't you allow Him to do life with you? He's just a loving Father that wants to gift you the Holy Spirit, the true life, the true way. He is the light. He is the way. So, Father God, I pray over your children right now. God, I pray that their hearts just be softened, humbled to receive fully, that the Holy Spirit will truly guide them and give them, you know, highlight the way to them, my Lord, that they will live in light in you, Father God, and not of the ways of the flesh. I pray that you give them divine protection and that they will have ears to hear their Father and not know a stranger's voice they will continue to abide in you and to live for you and you will have your way you will have your will in their life in Jesus name amen